Welcome. For this video, what we're going to do is use the skills that we already have. If you're a good business analyst, programmer, writer, fitness coach, then by putting in the work, you're going to be able to make a ton of fucking money. Now, this is not some get rich quick scheme. It's going to take patience and a lot of hustling. But with this video, I want to give you guys another perspective. A friend of mine is an amazing fitness instructor and was not happy with the money he was making here. And he didn't know what to do. What he needed was some perspective. And you might too. So when in doubt, look at the internet. By making videos every day and by building a following and later coaching the online clientele that he had, my friend is now traveling the world and doing what he loves. I hope you can do it too. And we're going to talk about that in this video. So roll the intro. In this video, we're not going to teach you a skill that you can build upon like we did with SEO. Here, we're going to give you some ideas on what you can do with the skills that you might have. I choose some particular skills that in my opinion can thrive on the internet. In the next video, we're going to show you what you can do online as a beginner, but on this video, you're going to pick the fruits of your labor. So let's say you think your job is shitty, and not because you don't like what you do, but because you hate working with people that don't have the same vision as you and don't see the bigger picture like you do. Or maybe for any other reason, but plain and simple, you think you can do better if you took matters into your own hands. Here are some jobs that I think can make a killing online if you're already good at them. First job is business analysis. While researching for this video, I read that people that are good at this can make around $70,000 a year. I read that the payment is usually a fixed price model that may range from $50 to $1,000 upwards, while you have to pitch for hourly projects, which usually range from $50 to $40 an hour, with average payments at $30 per hour. This all depends on how good you are and your reputation in the given network. I can't be 100% sure because I've never done it myself, but guess what? If you're a good business analysis, you can see for yourself, you can give it a try. You might be watching this and wondering how can you proceed to actually make that income from home? Where can you find these networks that can give you that opportunity? I read that People Per Hour, Odesk, Elance, and Freelancer offer many job opportunities for freelance BAs, both locally and internationally. Check them out. And if you want to sharpen your skills, you can go to BA Experts, Analyst Coach, Watermark Learning, and Universal Class. They will be in the description, and if you need to check them out, just click on the links. Second job is being an online fitness coach. This one is a bit more harder because you would have to put in a lot more effort into building a name for yourself. For you to be good at this, you would truly need to know what you're doing and preaching. The, I had the friend of mine that I was talking about had a blog before the YouTube videos, and he was an admin in a Facebook group about self-development. What he would do is share his content, which was full of value, on those groups. He himself was a ripped dude, so it wasn't that hard for people to listen to him when he was talking about fitness. He was constantly sharing his content and learning more, but things weren't going so well. He had clients, but he wasn't on a level that he wanted to be. Then he started making YouTube videos. At the beginning, he sucked. I'm not gonna lie, he was not that good as he is now, and it was kind of sucky. His English was not really good and he didn't have a lot of charisma. But with time, he got better and decided to do something that changed his life. He had decided to make a YouTube video every day for a year. By making quality video a day for 365 days, he got 60k subscribers. And he got way better in front of a camera. And he was doing this while traveling the world and while coaching clients. So... There are truly no excuses because while doing this, have a perspective or have in mind that he was getting ripped himself. And truly, if you want to do this, you will need to put in the work. If you want to be a fitness coach, I hope you get what I'm trying to say here. You're going to have to work your ass off, but it's going to be worth it if you really love what you're doing. If you want to see who I'm talking about and witness his journey, then check out Mario Tomic. Link to his channel will be in the description as well as any other info for any other job. Third job is being a writer. Now, if you're a serious writer and you're not just trying to make a quick buck, then I don't really recommend iWriter. Reason being is that it takes a lot of time to make little money where if you're truly talented, 
you can make money by doing something else. Something else like writing an ebook and later promoting it or writing guest posts for websites and building a name for yourself. To promote an ebook, it will take some skill in some other fields and you can always pay somebody to promote it for you and give them a commission or learn how to do it yourself. To find websites that allow readers to write articles for them, simply Google websites that accept guest posting. This is if you want to take the guest posting journey. And depends on what you're trying to do. If you're striving to write an ebook, write it and learn how to promote it. You can learn on this channel. But if you do want to actually start guest posting and make a name for yourself, then Google websites that accept guest posting. See if there is a website that is in a field you like that accepts guest posting and try your luck. Or at the end of the day, you can always start a website and write content that you're interested about here. We have a video that explains how you can make your website for $1 and how you can promote your content using SEO. Fourth job is customer service. I think we have all pretty much talked to a representative of a customer support team. What they do is really simple in most cases and to get a job in a customer service company, you usually have to go through a training, get tested out, and if you do good, you're going to be given a job. If it's something that is more complex to understand, like technical support in a hosting company, you can get paid more. A friend of mine worked for a health company where he was at my house and he was talking to customers through his laptop and making 20,000 euros per year like it was nothing. And the bottom line is this when you're doing a customer service job. is basically if you have a skill or you know a bit more than the average Joe about, let's say, hosting, you can get a lot better job than if you know nothing and you go through the training and learn from the start there. So my friend, he was working for a health company and he was making 20,000 euros per year. So definitely try it out. If you can speak English fluently, try it out. If you can't, learn it. There's no other option. Google customer service jobs and see what you can find there. It's really simple. Just write on Google. With time, you can get paid more and more if you're loyal to your company. Fifth job is being an entrepreneur. Everybody knows what this is and people are working on new ideas every day. Starting businesses and working hard to achieve something. There's also no limit on how much money you can earn with this. One simple idea can jumpstart and make you millions. All you have to do is work hard for it, nothing else. What you can do online is constantly search for and try out new methods that can bring you money. Search for these methods on blogs, forums, or be innovative and make a method. Work on it and improve it till you make millions and start hiring people to make a company out of it. I've known a lot of entrepreneurs that started with online marketing and they were working day and night until they actually find a method that they can scale up to make a company out of it. So definitely. If you don't know what to do, start researching. Go on forums on Black Hat World, on Warrior Forum, or any forum like that and see what you can find. I can talk for hours about this, but I think we all know that the main thing is putting in the work and researching all the time. Sixth job is being an affiliate marketeer. Again, this, like entrepreneurship, takes a lot of work and a lot of researching. You can't just become a good affiliate overnight and usually the good affiliates they know each other why do they know each other because game recognizes game if you're a good affiliate chances are another good affiliate is going to contact you or you're going to contact them so you can both take your game to another level and what you can do as an affiliate marketeer is like I said learn more and more find out new methods try out affiliate marketing try selling anything anything from Amazon, anything from eBay. It doesn't just have to be eBay. It can be any CPA offer. And you can bring traffic using uh, a lot of techniques like SEO or using social media to bring traffic. And the most important part here is actually social networking. Try to know people, make a my mastermind group, and see what you can do with them. Take each other's game to another level. Seventh job is being a YouTube entertainer. And like the story with my friend Mario Tomic, this one is going to take a lot of time and people are going to need to get to know you. With this, you're going to need to dig into self-development and get more entertaining in a way if you're not already. 
you can get there by, like I said, reading books and by working on it, by being in front of a camera. You can either make funny videos or make gaming videos and by actually learning video editing so that you can get better at making videos. You can try that and see what you can do with it. But with time, you would really have to work a lot because it's not that simple. One of the greatest YouTube entertainers, they didn't just do it in a day. And same as Rome, it wasn't built in a day, cliche. So, time for the Ave job. Ave job is being a programmer. There are countless freelancing websites that are begging for programmers. You can either just go to these freelance websites like Upwork, Freelancer, and you can see what you can do there. And other than those websites, you can either start researching on your own for companies that are in need for programmers. It's really cool that we're living in the 21st century where you don't have to be in Mexico to work for a company that is from Mexico. You can be chilling in Ibiza and you can still work from your home online and make a project for anybody that needs it. But I don't think I need to explain too much on how you can be a good programmer that makes a lot of money online because first off you would need to be a good programmer and what you can do is really start as a freelancer make a name for yourself and at the start you're not going to be paid that much but with time you are because good programmers are paid that's like a rule in the world like if you're a superstar in your field you're going to get paid so definitely even search on your own time on Google jobs for programmers online I bet you that you're going to find something good that can change your life. Ninth job is being a website designer. Now with this you do need to have some skill at coding, at HTML, JavaScript, things like that. But what you can do is start searching for people that live in a country with, with a good economy and start searching which store or which company doesn't have its own website. And what you're going to need to have here is a skill in sales where you can actually pick up the phone, call them, and tell them that they need a website and that you can provide it for them. You don't have to do the sales part. You can get somebody that is good at it and start calling people. So you can get a sale and start making your website. With time, with word of mouth, if you're really good, people will start recommending you and you will have clients contacting you which is really good and that's something that you, you should strive for. So as a website designer, this is what you can do online. Now, you can always be a freelancer like a programmer and go to Upwork or Freelancer.com and see what you can do there. But I think this is even a better idea because you can really start a company from just this, from just calling people and just telling them that you're going to make a website for them. You can ask for a price of about 100 euros to make the website. And But it doesn't have to be just 100 euros. You can choose for yourself because people, in my opinion, they've been really asking for a high price to just build a regular website. Learn how to do this. Learn how to build a website and offer that to people. Final job I can think of is being a freelancer. Now, by this I mean if you don't have any of these skills that I mentioned, if you, ha if you have skills as a video editor, if you have skills as an audio producer or anything like that at photo editing, you can always try to be a freelancer. You can go to these freelancer sites that I mentioned, freelancer.com, Upwork, which in my opinion are the best. You can try to make a name for yourself there. Now at the start, it's going to be hard because even I remember when I first started out on these sites, I was really being a slave to people because People, uh, when you start off fresh, they don't know if you are good. So you have to prove yourself. But when you prove yourself, you can really make some serious money there. So you can do it either with video editing, photo editing, audio editing. Any, any skill that you might find there is pretty much a skill that any human can have. If you don't, know, don't have any of these skills, learn them and try yourself out there. Now, that is pretty much it about this video. If you like what you heard, like this video, subscribe to our channel, or visit our website, And we have because we have some cool things there that you should check out. 
And like I said, that is pretty much it. Try these jobs, try researching, and see what you can find. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you got lucky and got a really good job. Till next time.